boy. We had everything out over here. More baseball cards than my mom thought. I'm sure I'm gonna get in trouble for this. <laughs> Ask them. Ask them which one they're doing first. <clears throat> oh, junk stuff. Might be a better one. I'm sure some of the stuff people threw in there, There's nothing good in these. You know Joe Burrows in there, I can tell you that now. So I said somebody's been through this. We got a bit on this goes for seventy five dollars. on a set just um, some cards they put in there hmm. there's more cards than uh, they said there was hmm Birds are flying around. <clears throat> some old hats. I don't know much about hats. Some case hat. Oof. <laughs> Bad shape. All over me. <clears throat> some non sports cards. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if these are worth anything. So I worth 25 bucks. I couldn't find this one. Hmm. Good on these. Hmm. 
This is only worth 35. I priced it out. Uh, I just got done from another auction. We spent a total of five hundred and nine dollars and eighty five cents. Uh, thirty three dollars and thirty five cents was just the taxes um, that we had to pay. Uh, pretty good auction. Um, Stuff actually kind of went cheap. I don't know if it's because of uh, the rain or, or whatnot, but uh, it was indoors at a, uh, um, what do you call that? Uh, fairgrounds, it was at a fairground. So they had it at a bar, uh, in a barn, um, so, but not too bad. Well, let's jump into it, I'll show you what I got. So first thing is, let's see here is this Pokemon battle um, game. I paid I don't know. I can't find it on here now. Oh, it's on the first list. Uh, it's $22.50. I don't know if it's worth it or not. Um, I did see one used. It was bid up to $25. Uh, but this is brand new in the box and it's from 95 to 2020 but that's not right that's just the copyright date maybe it is 2020 mm -hmm. um so there's that i got these three reds hats uh they need to be cleaned up a little bit they're yellow um there's actually four i'm sorry uh so two of the older ones which look pretty cool in this one and i paid i want to say four dollars for these these i'll keep i bought these box lot of pins uh, i do decently well for buttons um wasn't really too much in here that i saw um there's a huddleson um some of the reggie jackson pins i'm a beach nut uh ohio national guard one these are what i've never seen i guess they're a 7-eleven slurpee um they have a little uh refractor in them so they move uh that's says two bucks on it i think a lot of this stuff had they had prices on them so i don't know if they were a uh the twins button at a uh antique booth or what the nolan ryan one don Manley, wade bulbs ripkin this is a pretty nice one um but i paid two bucks for this nobody else bid me up on this one um I got this Black Widow uh, figure. I paid six bucks for her. Not sure if she's worth it or not. I wasn't gonna go much more than that. Um, it says from 2020. Then I picked up this box lot of toys. 
Um, I paid two bucks for these. <clears throat> there was some that looked like from the game. This one, the, uh, I can't remember the game. Uh, there we go. It says, uh, uh, Infinity, Disney Infinity. So you put this on it and you can play him on the like little puck stand. Um, so it was that. There's a Ronald McDonald boy. Spider-Man for a dollar. Um, these were what kind of intrigued me. They say Funko. Hmm. I don't think they're Funko Pops, but I don't know what that is. And here's another one. No name on the bottom. Uh, and then there's a Transformer. I don't know if it's a true Transformer or not. Uh, he's missing his arms right here. Uh, but two bucks for, for this one. I took a shot for this for two bucks. Nobody placed a bid. Um, it says Gold Dust. Um... Uh, it says Jack's Pacific, 1997. So I don't know if it's worth anything. But that was two bucks. Uh, this Cal Ripken Jr. starting lineup from 1995. That I paid five bucks for. Uh, they had a, the Michael Jordan one. Um, I was talking to you guys in the video. Went for 60 bucks. There was not enough profit. Um, I told you it last sold for 75. That's what I could sold it for. Um, I picked up this Star Wars brand new in the box. Again, there's price tags on everything. Uh, I paid five bucks for this one. I didn't see the price tag at first, but I, I'd like to think I can get more than five bucks. Uh, it's from 2017. Brand new in the package. So there's those. Then I got this Transformer. They said it was a Transformer, but I think they were talking more about these because these are Transformers. These were two bucks. I think I may have lost on this one because I can bundle these up. Maybe I'll get eight bucks out of these. But this one's just not a normal transformer. I don't know who he is. He just feels really cheap looking and feeling really thin plastic. So there's those. I paid two bucks for these. Um, they're just Shaquille O'Neal figurines. I'm missing one. I don't know where he's at because I know there's a different another one. Um, but I really got it for this Marks. So I've had these before, um, these Marks uh, Army guys. So it's Lewis Marks. Um, I had a cowboy, I had this one, and an Army guy that was green. So I had green, gray, and red. Um, and then they sold for like 20 bucks. He said 10, but he's got this labeled. I'll have to clean it up a little bit. It's a little black on here. So these were a little expensive. Um, I picked these up for $21. So you got the rock. Uh, What's this thing called? Not sure. Not sure what those are. Mom said there's something on the bottom. I see him. Maybe that knows that he's on the mat. I don't know. It says 1999 Jacks. Uh, don't know these guys. <laughs> I want to say this is um, John Cena. Uh, this is Goldberg. And is that another Goldberg? I don't know. You guys tell me. It says bye bye Jack. All 99. Uh, I'll probably clean these up just a little bit. They seem a little dirty. Like this is. I don't know if maybe he's supposed to be that color. I don't know. Uh, these Indians went with uh, that um, Power Ranger a lot too. I'm sorry. Nope. They went with these. So I picked this up for five bucks. It came with those. It came with. These Power Range toppers, uh, these are from 1994. So that was, I wanna say these are right when they came out. So it's three of those, Pink Ranger, Black Ranger, and the Red Ranger. And then you got some marbles. Um, and then there's all these box tops, which are not worth anything. Some Pez dispensers. There is a nice little uh, Lucky Charms one. So this one must go, this must go in here. I just came out of the box. I don't know. Maybe I can see if I can sell these at the garage sale. I don't think they're going to be worth much. Listing. See, there's missing a pet dispenser there. Hmm. So there's those. Um, then here's some more Transformers here. Uh, again, he's asking four for this one. 
four for this one and the legs are broke. I just don't see the, so what I'm looking for is they used to have a hologram. You can put your finger on it. You can tell if it's a Decepticon or the uh, other version. Um, there's some turtles in here. Another transformer. Let's see what this one says, what year it is. Two thousand and fourteen. Then some Iron Man figure or uh, yeah, Iron Man. Another Ninja Turtle. Another turtle. This one says Playmates. He won eight bucks for it. Donatello it says it's eleven dollars. Another Transformer. I'm not sure. Oh, some Batman and Flash. Figurine, small miniature ones. Uh, Eddie Munster, or the, I don't know. Frankenstein, that's who I was looking for, Frankenstein. Uh, this box was, two bucks, what I paid for that one. Uh, we picked these up here. So last time I sold these, I kind of did bad. I bid one of these up to 25 bucks. Uh, I learned my lesson because I sold it for 25. I picked this up for three and this one up for three. So both uh, Dale Earnhardt, uh, neither one's been put together. We had trouble opening this up, um, but I did look inside and it wasn't put together. See, as you see. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute, what is this? They threw an extra piece in there. No, that's not it, that's this one. So they must have threw an extra piece in there. It's really weird. I don't know, you'll get an extra piece. It's spray paint, I can tell from the top of it. It's really crappy done. So they must have threw that in there, I don't know. Uh, but three bucks each, I would assume this was like 25 sold, 40 or 30. Uh, the other one I had was the plastic was ripped, so and the box was in bad shape. So we took a chance. Then I got these. So this was what I really wanted this for is Bart. Um, I guess it's a uh, Burger King toy. Um, then this some Smurfs, a troll. This says a Play School Marvel Herds Wolverine. It doesn't say a price. And then another troll. And some SpongeBob and Friends puzzle. Maybe. Um, I paid six bucks for this one. So hopefully Bart will get me that. And then this was my most expensive wrestling one. I paid twenty-seven fifty for it. It has Hulk Hogan. And these are from. 1999. This one is. 1499. <laughs> He's got 1499 for this Great. one. I don't know who this guy is. MVP. Uh, oh, that says uh, this is from 10, 2010 and it says nobody. Doesn't say who it is. This is the park of Jack Jacks. I don't know. No name on this one. Scotty, Scotty something. Nothing on there. Then there is nothing on that one. Well, there is. You just can't see it. You got it folded. 2003 Action Five. Action Jake. Five. That's who made it, Jake's. This is a Triple H. Eight bucks. He's five bucks. He's asking for that one. Then you got uh, Batista. 710. <laughs> this must be a rarer one. Boogie Man. And uh, not sure who that one is. This one says. I don't know that one either. This guy can't see. Dolph. Dolph. Dibdina. I don't know, but these were $27, so I figured, um, you know, if 
I go by the prices that he has, I should do really well. But I mean, this one I would say probably sell for a 10, I don't know, 99 Hulk Hogan. But I, some of these, if I can't sell them individually for a profit, I'll probably just bundle them up. My mom picked this salt and pepper shaker up. Don't take it out, it's hard to get in. She said don't take it out, it's hard to get in. So it's a, I don't know, it's got some light bulbs in there. No, that's oh, that's salt, salt and pepper. Oh, so you sit in there, she paid two bucks for this, right? Yeah. So I don't know anything about this. Four. Okay, she paid four for that one. Um, so this little lot, I paid four bucks for these. Yeah, four bucks for these. Um, this is probably not worth anything. Uh, it's from 2016, but it was this one I was looking at. 1995 Star Wars with Baby or well Yoda. It's a Baby Yoda, but it's not Baby Yoda. And I bought this group of Star Wars toys for six bucks. Um, 1995 was that one. Uh, 1996 for this one. And I don't know if these are micro machines or what, because these are a little smaller for enough. Normally you can see that was 95 and this is 96. Um, then I purchased these old Power Ranger says belt buckle gumballs. Looking at the date 1996. Um, these Power Rangers were eight bucks. I paid for these. Uh, I'll probably leave them in a bundle and sell them. That it says two for a dollar. So here's those. Um, so I got some cards. I'm gonna go back and forth. Actually, I'll do the cards later. So I bought these buttons here. Um, four. Hmm. Seven bucks. So this is a huge button compared to my hand. Uh, make your life miserable. There's just some old ones in here. Um, some West Constant ones, Final Four. Like I said, I, I'll do pretty good on these. I, I list them. Um, there's a lot. I get anywhere. There's a wooden nickel. You get anywhere from 25, 30 bucks. So I just do it if I can get them cheap. I mean, there's not many in this one, like typical ones I get LSU, The Jungle Book, Nationally Advertised Donuts, Stanton. I'm not sure what that is. Parrot. Uh, Parks and Trojans were on the other guys. There's a bunch of different pens. Some old pens, though. Uh, some political stuff in here. But I should do pretty good for this one. Uh, then I got the Star Trek lot. So I paid for 11 bucks for these. Um, this is from 92, Captain Picard. Um, it's got a little bit of damage in the plastic here. Uh, some yellowing, another Picard. But this one is from 95. So I would say probably 15, 20 bucks, depending on how rare those are. I should get out of those. Um, then I got this wrestling lot that I paid five bucks for it. Came with this gold dust. Uh, WDWE figure, thirteen ninety nine is what he says it is, and then it says nineteen small wrestling stars. John Cena is in here somewhere. That's what it says. Oh, that goes to. Oh, here. So I'll probably. I'll probably. Yeah. Well, it says. I can't read that back. Twenty eleven. So twenty eleven. Got a little table, so that when you throw them in there, you break the table. See. Uh, there's a trash can. I don't know what those are. Little flipper. I guess if you want to hear and you tap this and flips them over the railing. Garbage can. I don't know what that is. There's a chair. <laughs> it's missing a piece of the chair, it looks like. But uh, I should get more than uh, seven bucks for these. Seven fifty. I mean, so I'll probably group bundle these. Not with the. 
of the turtle though. Um, then I'll go back to this. So this is a shift motorcycle uh, uniform. They had another one there, it was on the wall, it was red. You guys probably didn't see it. Um, nobody bid. I got five bucks for this. It does need to be cleaned up because it is used. Um, I saw one sold for 180 bucks. I don't know the size. This size is probably a, not a normal size. Thought it said small. Thought my mom said it was small somewhere. I don't know. I don't see a size. Up oh, 30. So it's a size 30. But it's got the pants and the shirt. You can put that up on the truck. Uh -huh. Did you get this one already? I did get this one. So then uh, we picked this up, which is really weird. Um, paid 25 bucks for this. Uh, it's a drill press. It is a little rusty here from just sitting out. I'll probably scrape this down, spray some WD-40 here, here. I mean, when you move this, you see it's it's in pretty good shape. The uh, shaft is. Tested it, it does work. Uh, my mom picked up this uh, big light for me, five bucks. Nobody wanted it. It's got a little uh, plug right here on it. I picked up this um, fishing rod with a tackle box. Um, gave 10 bucks for this. I already got two for the kids, but I wanted the other one. They had two of these identical, but I just got outbidded on it, and I wasn't paying 20 bucks for them. Uh, my mom paid five bucks for this Mark's toy, right? And then what you paid for it? 10 bucks for this Mark's toy. Um, I didn't look this one up. We tried to look something similar. Uh, it's in a little bad shape, but it says Mark's right there. Uh, what'd you say it was called? Friction. Friction car. A friction car. Push it down, it goes back. So there's that one. Then I paid five bucks for this lot of this Ninja Turtles. Just a motorcycle. Two smaller action figures, newer ones. Uh, new in the box, a little Nickelodeon action figure from 2019. Uh, I'm not sure who that is. He's dirty, whatever he is. And then a little McDonald's toy. Ninja Turtles, looks like. And this one says a Marvel something. And then there's another little Star Wars guy from cereal box looks like and another Star Wars well, here let me put these in there I paid two bucks for these nobody bid on them I just wanted them for these I don't know if they're they go for much but it's uh, just two little Power Ranger key toppers it says I thought those were pretty cool um, from 1994 so it came with these all these little Pez candies which are probably stale but I'm sure they're still good and this um, Marvel Sour Bites um, Spider-Man does not say a date. Yes, 2002. Picked this lot up of the Ant-Man. I don't know who that is. Uh, another guy. I'll have to look these up. I have no idea they are. Spider-Man, and then Spider-Man on a bike, and then uh, Dr. Octop uh, uh, is it Octopus? I think that's who his name, I don't know. Uh, I picked these up for five too. I picked up these cards. They are Top's Finest uh, baseball cards, they're pretty good, but these are Star Wars ones. So I picked up two bucks. I don't know if they're worth anything. You don't have anything on them. So I, on this lot, I paid 25 for this lot, and they're just all huge Ninja Turtles. I don't know if they talk. Um, boy, that's a small print too. They're from the 2014 Ninja Turtles, but I mean, there's um, one, he's a different character. He's a bobblehead looking one, or hand bobble, I don't know. Uh, one, two, three, Four, Michelangelo's here. Uh, five, six, and then there's a uh, a Hulk one from 2012. So this one I should do pretty good. So I think these sell for 10 bucks each, um, if my memory serves me right. Huh? Put them together and save them. No, she said put them together. 
Oh, he worked. Uh, this little Star Wars lot, I paid seven bucks for this one. So you've got these. Again, I don't know if they're micro machines or not, but the top's coming off here. And it says it's from. Uh, let's see a date on this one. But then there's that. There's another another one. This one says 2014. This guy's heavy. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure. I think he moves around. But I'm sure the batteries are dead. Yeah, because when I'm pushing him, he's not doing nothing. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I think I'm missing the piece. There's a piece. It's a string, pull string that goes in here. You put it in there, and you pull it, and he starts moving on the ground. Well, I don't know. There's this guy, and this guy, and another one of these. He's the same thing. He may, uh, yeah, he's the same thing. You gotta put this pull string here, pull it hard, and it'll move. Um, so there's that one. I paid ten bucks for these. Um, red um, banners. He said one of these said the year on it, which was 1976, but I don't see a year on it. So I think I got lied to. Yeah, none of these said the year, but still, I don't have these two, so that'll go down in my uh, room. All right, lastly is the cards this was one i got this came in a lot nobody wanted it i don't know who he is joe uh, thornton um so i paid five bucks for this um it's 1982 uh they're commons i looked to see if it was a set and pretty positive it's not a set uh so I'm sure it's missing Kyle Ripken's rookie card in there. But I have a set of these that I'm trying for, so we'll see. Um, then I paid 10 bucks for these. This is mostly just a bunch of hodgepodge stuff that they threw in here. I mean, there's some decent stuff. Randall Cunningham's rookie second 30-year card. Steve Largent. Um, some stickers. A Bruce Smith rookie card. I don't know who Joe Green is. Barry Sanders. Uh, Herschel Walker. It is raining. Uh, second year. Okay. Then a Mike Singletary. Um, but most of these I just... Actually, this one was the 5 buck one. This wasn't 10 So this was $5. But I'll probably... The kids will open these up. There's, I don't think there's anything in these. So there's those. Then I paid nine bucks for these because I'm trying for this set of 79 tops cards. But I'm sure, again, there's nobody um, expensive in here, no names. Because for one, I don't know, he says 130 miscellaneous football cards Peyton, OJ, Kilmer, Fouts, Moon, Reggie, and Shell. He's asking 15 for this. Like I said, I think he was a uh, he was a uh, antique dealer or something because it's just weird how he had prices on everything. Same thing, nothing in these. I paid ten bucks for this only to get these cars because I'm trying for this set as well, which is seventy eight. Um, I mean there's some there's some bangles there, but they're old school bangles. I don't want any of this. Sure, there's nothing in these. Looks like they're just packs that he opened up or made. Here. These came in a two box lot. They're just classic cards um, from 90 or 87. I'll just probably use these more for the cases, but probably not because he's got tags on them. Um, this is what they came with. I paid 10 for this one. Again, just some of the old stuff as well. I wanted um, nothing new in here. I mean, or I should say not new, but good. Um, I mean, there's some decent stuff like Montana. Sosa's rookie. Rook, nope, second year. Uh, your Skrimski, Allen, some Nolans. And this is what they do. Sometimes if you get a good auctioneer, 
he'll throw name cards in here so you buy it so you think oh i'm gonna get something good but like i said there's just nothing in here nothing of value that i see i mean i don't want any of this stuff this is how you get rid of your commons it is what it is let's see here and then uh, we got this box here which i just wanted to go through it I don't know what's in here. It's probably a lot of junk crap again, but there's some old stuff in here too. See, but you're not seeing they're creased. So I paid 10 bucks for these. Again, it's a crap shoot, but I'll guarantee there's nothing in here. I'm sure it's already been gone through. But we'll look. Um, then lastly, I have this one, and this is gonna be a little hard because I picked these up and they were just in a lot so i got probably i think i got 40 bucks in these but i did them by row so they would have a row here a row here and i had to keep bidding on the rows so i know these all came together and i bid 20 bucks for all these um 61s tops uh not in bad shape i didn't see any with creases but now i said that there's one crease here but the only person that was in here that was worth anything is a Nelly Fox. Um, the others are no names. I paid five bucks for this uh, 55 Bowman. Um, there's another one I paid five bucks for this one too. Then he started, when people wouldn't do bid lots, they'd sell the whole row. So I picked up these for five bucks. Second year Fisk. Boche, Billy Williams, nothing really of value in here. Picked this up for five bucks as well. Um, another one for five bucks. I picked this up for five bucks. It's Hornsby. And then I want to say that, yep, these were a lot too. So this was a lot. I paid five bucks for these. Uh, Ripken's Rookie. Uh, Pete Rose and then Willie Sturgill and this one went into it went in with it as well and then these I picked up for and he is creased looks like yep um, seven bucks for these four two creased one not or two creased two not and then these are five. Just Tom Seaver's the only name in that one. These again will just go into the collection. I just don't have anything. Uh, picked this up for. Oh man, I picked this up for uh, eight bucks, and you can't see, but it's creased. I didn't see it. They didn't have the really best lighting. A lot of the cards were creased, but that's creased. And then I got these all in a lot for three bucks. <laughs> I think Carl's crease too right here. I can't, yeah. Should have looked at these better, but it's still three bucks. I got a Pete Rose and Billy Williams, I think. No, that's a, is that Hank Aaron? I don't know who that is. New York Mets. I don't remember could be wrong you guys will tell me and then this box my final box i paid 12 bucks for this one some terry bradshaw there's an oj simpson some a boomer slice and rookie card uh some more t uh terry bradshaw this is just a hodgepodge again of just garbage i mean there's some new stuff like joe mixon 2020 so like i said he threw cards in here that he didn't sell at the at his booth or whatever so that's it <laughs> i know it didn't look like a lot those toys should do really really well um i'll probably good auction uh really nice being there uh we stayed till the end and stuff was going dirt cheap like the tools you saw so but yeah if you guys can please subscribe comment like below questions go ahead i'll respond to everybody as much as i can um you guys 
I really appreciate you guys hanging through me with this journey that I'm doing. Uh, it's still a learning process of talking to the camera because you see I'll look away, it's just a weird feeling. Uh, anybody who YouTubes I'll tell you talking to the camera is a little weird. So, But until the next one, thanks guys. Thanks again.